Oh, hello everybody. Today is the 24th of May, 2021. It is, uh, still cold in Sydney. Like, jeez. I think I went on, on Bing weather, and it said it was going to be 12 degrees, maybe. Um, I'm going, what? So, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, hopefully, all of you all have had a wonderful week and will continue to have an excellent week ahead. But for now, you'll have to ruin that excellent week because you're going to be watching a stream of someone play Wario Land Super Mario Land 3 for the Nintendo Game Boy. Now, I have a big confession to make. I made a big mistake of having different Game Boy emulator settings to, to the... Mario Land stream, and I realized way too late. Wow, this looks like I'm obviously playing on an emulator rather than playing on an emulator that at least tries to make it look a little more appealing. Uh, still, you know, within the natural confines of emulator space, but man, my nose sounds so blocked. I'm like, <laughs> hey guys, yes, within the emulator. <laughs> like, jeez. Oh my gosh, yeah. Absolutely having a field day. Alright, so... Let's dive right into it, shall we? Uh, so here we go. Alright, so... This is the look I was going for. Is it specifically that look? I'm sorry, you're gonna have to see a little bit of retro arc. Uh, yeah, I probably don't know. Alright, so, let's continue on. I'm on course number 22, and how much of this game do I remember? I remember we got a bridge, and I remember I suck at it. And I remember we're going for the treasures as well. At least we got the goods. So, yeah. So how has everyone's week's been? Uh, well, it's been rather exciting, but... I honestly feel like there's a certain degree of, uh... The, the big time Tommy! Like, uh, that, that, uh, you know, life advice that from an unsuspecting... Well, onto an unsuspecting target, and that is everyone online. Uh, the life lesson that I have uh, figured out over the past week, and I would love to share this, is uh, no. Oh, how do I phrase this in a way that's like general enough that uh, doesn't relate too hard to anything I've experienced? But pretty much everything that I encounter usually end better with more dialogue and more understanding of the situation. Without running into circles. Don't, don't convince. But just be aware. And if you know what's happened, and you know how someone feels about something, that's the point. That's the point that you should be pretty happy about knowing all that stuff. And then you use that to guide your future decisions in life. Rather than trying to convince everyone to change the world around you, you know? Oh. So, that was a level, I guess. The left one is the left one. Oh, I'm, I'm glad to see some things haven't changed. I'm a little bummed my retro achievements didn't actually hook in on the, the last stream, so I had to... Kind of quickly double back and see if I could re-get some of the achievements, and one of the ones that I didn't manage to re-get is get three of the gold, so... If I don't have it by the end, then that's going to be a little disappointing, but... Oh well. I've still got money. Uh, so yeah, so the goal is still... The goal is still to get 10,000 coins by the end. We'll see how that goes. Swimmingly, I'd imagine. Course number 23! Uh, here we go. Ooh, I'm 
made that work. I love the music in any of these warrior games, it's great. Uh, is this, is this the Donkey Kong level? The obligatory Donkey Kong level. What a nice power-up they've got there. This game is rather generous with the number of lies and other kinds of things it gives. And also the fact that, like, it makes it quite clear when things are happening. I actually, I do really admire this game for what it kind of is. Like, if anything, it's not quite, you know... It's not quite the puzzly game that Wario Land ends up being, but it's definitely, you know, it, it definitely has those elements. I nearly goofed that one, but the key word here is nearly. See, now, this looks more like lava, whereas, like, I wouldn't have suspected it's lava, despite the fact that the entire game is on this brown color palette. <laughs> It is Wario, yes. Hello, everyone. How How is everything going today in the world of... Uh, the world of everyone else? Darn, I, can't, I can never get Wario to, to catch a break. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. Everything's going pretty well for me, so... You know, you, you encounter new things, you learn new things, you, you make mistakes and you go on. You know, it's the, the regular process. Uh, I've listened to some new music, and I've been playing some games, so I will probably go into some of that detail. Thanks, you, thank you for the follow. I'll probably go into some detail of that. Uh, now, I believe there is a secret level to uncover. But what is the secret level? Well, we'll have to, we'll have to encounter that. Well... I'm glad that was the first one. Nice stream. Thank you very much. I try my best to, to make these streams as enjoyable and uh, fun, uh, involved. I, I don't know if that's the word I'd use, but uh, you know what I mean. Like, I'll bring bring everyone into it and not try to talk exclusively about the game. Build build a bit of a personality and a bit of character on that one. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm terrible. I think it's cool that you're speaking. Uh, also, if nobody's in the stream. Oh, exactly. I'm actually. I I am kind of used to to that kind of stuff just because, um, back when I used to do the YouTube, uh, stuff. Have you done- Oh, okay, okay. I'll- I'll, I'll answer your point, uh, Harry Gamer, but like, okay, legit, someone, like, mentioned the Wario thing to me, like, afterwards. I- I had seen the Elon Musk Wario, and then that week, I'm playing Wario Land, and I make no mention of it. <laughs> and I'm so ashamed I never made mention of it. So, um... But, uh, yeah, back to, back to your point, Harry, um, yeah, no, I, back when I was, like, playing YouTube, uh, or do, doing this for, for YouTube, can you go in that direction? No, oh, I guess it was a dead end. Um, yeah, the YouTube, YouTube was a great, like, you know, learning tool and just kind of, like, talking to yourself and making yourself sound crazy in your head, uh, out loud, um, but it also was great because, uh, you know, you're effectively pre-doing your audience. So I'm kind of used to doing that a bit, and I still half intend for these videos to be made for the prospective person who watches later on YouTube without actually watching live. Um, but I, I kind of like it as well, just because, you know, it, it means that the stream is somewhat exciting. Yeah, I'm 
not too sure what this is referring to. It's... Oh, is it really? Because you can't go down there, can you? Maybe I should have committed, considering I didn't... Sorry, I wasn't committed to the end of the level, considering I hadn't hit the checkpoint. Sorry for my English writing isn't that good, I'm from Germany. Oh, dude, your English is quite good. I know English speakers who type way, way gibberish, and at the very, very least, I can clearly understand you, and I wouldn't have picked it apart, so. Oh, that's good. Uh, if you had to say something exciting in German, what would you say? Whoa. <laughs> okay. I know, I know. How many games are out there where it's like you fall faster than like an object falling away from you? So you can like catch up to it? picking that up, but sure. Oh, I'm not paying attention, I'm sorry. Oh, and I'm, and I'm actually screwed. Ah! Yep. Uh, can you please turn down the game audio because your voice is very quiet? Uh, yeah, sure thing. Uh, and also, sometimes it's me being a bit quiet. I've got it such that I'm not peeking, but yeah, I legit, like, sometimes I do have the game a bit bit loud compared to me. Uh, so I'll leave it at 13.7 minus and we'll see how it goes. Uh, in a few games you can ground pound, slam, or something to catch up. Yeah, you've got the dash, but yeah, when you're small you've got no, no chance, which is definitely a bit of an issue, but... Which mic do I use? I use a, uh, a Blue Yeti from Yonder's back. This is actually from... I did it again did it again. Uh, yeah, I've had this mic since 2013, I think. Um, and it's done me well. I'm even surprised that the number of times I take out and uh, re-put in the USB cable, uh, which it's fortunately just a micro B. Uh, not a micro B, it's the old micro. Um, considering how many times I've unplugged it. Yeah. Uh... Fortunately, I'm not too concerned about lives, because you can easily go back to the earlier levels, and in particular, there's a bonus- I, I didn't do it that time. There's, there's a bonus level that's got no enemies, and you're just getting coins. And so, I've kind of gone, okay, well... Actually, I think there's a few enemies, but... Uh, yeah, like, there's, there's no risk. And, uh... To double it up, if I were to game over, the worst I'd lose is one of my treasures. I have to go see you later, uh, or in another stream. Yeah, sure thing, have a good one. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm dumb. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm actually, I'm actually bad. I'm actually horrendous at this. Jeez. Which is a shame, because, like, I do want to finish this game, this, uh, this stream. So, I don't want to spend more time than I have to. I, I kind of, my plan was... Uh, if I, if I had a... Don't worry, I, I accidentally tap B. <sighs> it's getting worse, I don't know why, I'm, I'm just, just like, I, I, I did it once before, didn't have any problems, and now it's just like, yep, yep, nope, nope, you're going into the pit. Alright, time for Blendo to pay mild attention to what's actually happening, and not just, Hey, I'm doing a stream, hi everyone. Uh, well, kind of, but mm, that sounds like I don't, don't appreciate chat. I, I appreciate the chat. It's more just, I'm terrible instead. Oh, why is this actually giving me more problems than like it did the very first time I did this? I had like 12 lives before I went into this, didn't I? Or was it 11? I knew I had 11, I don't, don't remember after that. Uh, yeah, so, so if I was the game over, yeah, I lose a treasure, and then after, if I have no more treasures, I lose a half my money. Uh, 
but you replay from the same stage again, so it's not really uh, an issue in that camp. It's more just, you know, I don't want to really waste time, and re-getting a treasure is going to be a little annoying because I have to remember where the treasure was from. And then also the pain of re-getting it because some of those actually were like a bit cryptic. And I don't remember a thing from last week. Honestly, I think that's like the bizarre thing about streaming once a week is that every time I come back and I like mildly forget what I actually did in the last stream. Well, like 100%, but just like... You know, this is a game that I am very unfamiliar with. Alright, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Stay on. And... Jump off... Ah. I should've dashed. I should've dashed. I should've hit the checkpoint as well. Yeah, that that's what I mean. Is that that's the jump that I'm trying to hit. It's... It's a bit of a doozy. And yeah, the worst part is that, like, you just burn lives. I might be getting a few hearts, I might be making a little bit of progress to extra lives, but... Because I'm not clearing the level, the coins aren't clearing. Okay, well... That's a bit of insult to injury right there, isn't it? How long have I been on this level? I'm... I'm... Not particularly... Having a... Having a fun time with that jump, am I? <laughs> so, um, so I guess, uh, into the topics of, uh, the music for the week, uh, I've only listened to one new album, uh, in this past week, uh, I know that the, the new Black Midi album has been, uh, leaked, so, but I'm saving, I'm saving my, my attention for a proper listen, uh, on Friday when it comes out, so we're saving for that. But the album of the now, this is Promises by Floating Points and uh, Pharaoh Sanders. It's a... Oh, what's the name of the genre? Off the top of my head, I can't remember. But it's uh, it's rather jazz-infused, uh, minimal kind of music. And I, I guess that's the thing, is that it's, it's jazz and contemporary mixed into a minimal form. That's... That's the main gist of the genre. Uh, but it's really interesting how, uh, yeah, the idea is that there's just this kind of arpeggiotic kind of motif that's uh, played um, to set up four chords. Whoa, oh, dude. So that's, that's the cheeky. That's the cheeky. That was what I was going for. All these lives burned just for that. It's worth it though, until I burn all my points on <laughs> on on the, the gambling on my XCC. Did I make that joke already in the past week? Two jumps as well, yeah, exactly. Uh, but no, yeah, it's it's a real interesting album because uh, yeah, it's got that ar arpeggiotic kind of motif, and it just sets up these four chords. Nice, by the way, <laughs> and. Uh, the chords don't necessarily build, that motif still lingers, but it plays on it with a different idea. So, um, so this Pharaoh Sanders guy, he's a sax saxophonist, saxophone player, and he, um, he does a really great job delivering this kind of mellow tone, this, like, somber, uh, just saxophone voice, uh, and then there's this mild orchestral element to it, so at some points, you know, you can just hear... Uh, like other kinds of instruments to form a more contemporary band. Um, uh, and then there's a like a great part on the uh, the sixth movement. And uh, yeah, it's another one of those. Get the treasure. Nice the levels. There's this great part on the sixth movement. Legit, this actually was the strongest part of the, the whole album for me. Was that it just like, it swelled up, it built. And you had this motif. You're in the rhythm. You're kind of soaking it in. Everything gets quiet. And it all starts coming back, and you're, uh, oh my gosh, this is a maze level, isn't it? Oh, 
Okay, that's the end of the level. <laughs> okay. Well, as long as I don't have to hit a switch. Like, you know, this probably isn't going to be too confusing. Uh. And oh uh, yeah, it it really built into this great, like you know, just crescendo at that part, and it's like legit, legit. If I hear like amazing music, you know, I I actually like really swell up, and it's only happened a couple of times, but it, it sometimes you know really gets me. This. Got really darn close to that. It actually was, like, quite powerful how it worked out like that. I think that it's a little weaker, and there's a switch, nice. It's a little weaker as a whole. I think that there's more value to this album as its parts and as what it does on a moment-to-moment -moment basis and not the overall, what, like, where everything went. Did that activate? Oh, boy. Oh, it raised the water. Uh, so I would definitely give this a listen. Uh, I am gonna say it again. It is Promises, the album, by... Okay, that's key here. Promises by Floating Points. Uh, that's probably the thing. Uh, Floating Points is just a single guy, uh, who... I think he's done a few electronic albums. I've not listened to any of them. First I've heard of anything here. Uh, but... It was really top shelf. It was really, really well done, and... Legit, like, I, I wouldn't give, like, four out of fives that very often. I usually give them to maybe, like, one album a year at most. And I'm, I'm very confident on this one. So, good on, good on this album. You got my four out of five like that. Um. A trophy. You get a trophy. So, I definitely give it a listen. I'm, I'm looking forward to Black Midi's, uh... New album that's coming out on Friday. They uh, were uh, one of my. F I don't know how many four out fives I gave, but they were like my favorite album of 2019. So, oh wait, that's the end of the level, isn't it? Really? That's a bit of an interesting idea, where it's like you just go to the end and there's the thing to get the the key. I'll take it. Oh, I guess you need the coins as well. I'm leaving this level with two coins. Is it worth the time doing the mini game if at best I can- Yeah, I might as well. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it all. If I actually get another one of these 10 tons, I am legit just having no money. <laughs> What's half of one? Oh no. Do I get to do a pity one? I get to do a pity go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I doubled my money, gang. Woo. Well, I thought I would have had nothing, and I ended up having less than that. It's a time for a bossa. Uh, We're going Dragon Man. Oh, dude. Okay, legit, this looks so much better, like, with a color tone rather than just the flat, like, grayscale that you get from emulators. Okay, whoever gave you the dragon is, like, an absolute, like, cruel person. Because that is... I hit B. Hmm. Done. So, uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to Black Midi. Uh, the people talking about the leaks say it's really, really good, but naturally, whoever's going to be listening to leaks of music are bound to be reasonable fans of the, you know, the band and the genre. So, um, I remember when my boy Stephen Wilson was uh, leaking at the beginning of the year, and, uh, ooh, just <laughs> and uh, I, I chose to not, like, listen to it. I... I especially felt that, like, uh, I didn't have that great an impression of his music when it was released as singles properly, never mind being, you know, released as an album later. I felt 
every song they released made much more sense in the album context though, so I was pleasantly surprised once I actually listened to it, but yeah, on the way, it's like, you know, you listen to the singles and you go, ugh. So, I've actually kept out of uh, Black Midi's singles. This is a terrifying sequence of jumps. Who did this? And I skipped the checkpoint. And I've got like two lives. I'm terrified. I'm actually terrified. No, I've got three lives. I'm the, the, the calm with a K right there. Although I guess this is level 25 out of what 40 something like the game's got to start wrapping up a bit of difficulty so let's get that drag on I think it's my point for or my my uh, issue for not jumping like I should just actually jump oh I can actually do that okay uh, uh. This is kind of awkward because I don't have, um... I gotta do gutsy jumps! No power-up, really? It's giving me a lot of, a lot of points for a lot of hearts, but... This is, this is rather precarious, isn't this? And you had to time it with the, the fireballs. And you gotta do- oh, gosh. And worst of all, you gotta deal with that guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they're really, they're really going at this, uh, at this, uh, kind of difficult here. Yeah? They're really going. Oh, and I've got, mmm, mmm, I really should have hit the checkpoint. Ah! Oh, is that, okay, does that cookie, like, not deal damage when it hits the ground? He's, he's gonna kill, kill the ground. So that. Yeah, okay, so that's what I gotta do. Alright. He's gonna be a bit mean. He's gonna be real mean, isn't he? Oh, come on, man. Come on. Hi there. Okay. Alright, this is where it starts getting kind of cruel. Oh, come on, man. Oh boy, oh boy. Ugh. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Fire it the right way. <sighs> please, please, please. You know, that was a bit tense, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. But. Victory for me, so. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Sad times, no money. Still sad times, no money. How about now? Sad times, no money. The worst part is that, yeah. You end the level, you got a hundred coins, and you end up not getting anything. Such is the way of life. It's time to enter a new world. The teacup. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, here we go. What kind of teacup level is this? We got chompers. We got all the goods. So, yeah, that's uh, that's my music stuff. For game stuff, uh, I got nothing like hugely exciting. I've been playing a bit of GTA Online uh, after however many years of. Uh, 
of a hiatus. And that's why I was thinking, I was like, oh, what's that block already hit? Uh, maybe go right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I stopped playing it like probably 20... I mean, I, play, I started playing at the very end of 2016. Oh my goodness! Second to fall, and I've just got to like prep for that, or like. Oh, that's the meme, because uh, if I lost my power up. Okay, but now I need now I need the the treasure. Now I need the key. Is the key in one of these? in one of these? Okay, maybe it's in here? Weird. Uh, but yeah, GTA Online is an interesting game because I think a lot of people have pr probably played it and uh, they've done a decent job of updating it with new things and I really appreciate that because it's a very different, not very, but it's rather different to how I was playing it uh, before. That being said, it's uh, introduced things that rather annoying, like the people in the flying bikes that just have missiles. It's rather painful. Okay, there's the key. Uh, I assume I need to, to turn the, the water off and then just come back for the treasure. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit rather annoying uh, having people do that. And yeah, I, I find that a lot of people are courteous, but not everyone's courteous. And it only takes one guy to ruin your day by being an absolute jerk with the things that he's already got. Like, and I guess it's a bit of a weird spot for GDR Online, where it's like, you know, on the one hand, you do want to encourage people to, you know, participate at each other. But you've got so many things that just rely on, like, oh, you know, if someone throws you off in free roam, like, that's the mechanic. And it's like, fair enough, but no one wants to really be on the receiving side of that. So, you do have a lot of people, like, play empathetically, and also no one wants to do things if they do cause trouble. Like, legit, I would rather just do heists, if it's actually so much of an issue. So, yeah, so, uh, I'm gonna be a bit salty because I was playing it a little earlier just before the stream, and I was doing, I do the thing where you're a VIP, uh, and you do your VIP missions, and I do the trucking, because I find the trucking is generally... Who bothers you while trucking? The only- the win state for the trucking, for other people, uh, the win state is that, uh, the person has to steal the truck or have their own truck and steal the trailer. Ah. And, uh, generally people aren't that mean doing that, but yeah, some guy just did it to me right at the very end. He just, like, comes in with this, you know, armored Kuruma, just- Sticky bombs the heck out of the front of my car and just blows me up. And then just like gets me like right moments away from the end. Like, what do you do? What do you do? So it's it's mean. Because on top of that, like, oh, I actually get like 23,000 every time I do it. Like, it's a decent amount. How much is the GDA online cost? Like, sorry, the, the shark cards? Okay, legit though, I have not spent a cent on their online. Like, it actually, it's not. I wouldn't say a scam, because it's not like, you know, you don't know what you're getting into. But as I said, $23,000 from doing one of those, like, just drive a truck, and you can repeat it every 10 minutes. Uh, after you finish one. But, yeah, fair enough. Uh, cheapest option, $100,000 in-game, is four Australian dollars. So, 23000 is nearly one of those dollars. The value, of course, you know, if you buy more shark cards, or more money, you know, you're getting a deal, but it's like... You know, honestly, it doesn't take that long to get money in the game. And considering that they upped the, the you know, the market of things to get... Oh, these jerks. Uh, considering they upped the amount of things that you need to be able to buy, uh, and not just like... Because when I, when I left, I think they added in the yachts, and the yachts were kind of like, you know, specialty items, but there wasn't really... You know, there's not much to do with a yard, and honestly, like, you know, it seemed like, oh, you just make more money, and you're doing, you're doing something, but... Uh, but now it's like, okay, well now they got the nightclub, and they got the, the, the CEO organization, and they got the, 
the casino and they've got the, the Doomsday Heist, which is its own thing, and then they've got uh, the Arena War, and it's like they've got all these like separate modes that do require like at least a couple million dollars in game to get into. And uh, at, at the on the one hand, it's like you know what, like I at least appreciate. I am concerned that I would need to come back with the other power up instead I've got the dragon. This is like the first time I think I've seen that power up actually like be needed in that way. But no, they're giving me dragon again, so I guess we're just gonna continue on with the level. Ah. Uh. Risk it. Get him! Get him! Yeah! So... That being said, yeah, getting back into GDA, uh, there are some other things that are not the, the high money kinds of things that I really appreciate that it's got now. I really appreciate that there's more than just regular street racing. They've really put in quite a lot of effort into the, the stunts and the open wheel stuff is quite decent. It's a little annoying getting into a lobby and someone's got, you know, a 15 lap circuit that takes two minutes to do a lap. A lot of the long lap stuff is like, yeah, or, or the long circuits is like, yeah, I, I wish that they had some shorter tracks on those, but yeah, for the most part, I'm not too fussed. So... Well, that's a bit of money. I am not going to get a 10,000 norm, uh, like, naturally by the end of the game. That's going to be a bit of a shame, but... Like, I'm starting to, I'm starting to encroach on... On, uh... You know, as I said, there's 40 levels in the game. This is 28. I'm starting to get there. 40 levels is a lot for a Game Boy game when you think about it. Like, and especially considering the original Mario Land had 12. Like, these are, these are fairly decent levels. There's a bit going on. Uh, there's only so many, you know, kinds of environments that they can be. Like, I'm pretty sure they've done this seaside barrel, you know, stuff with the, the bird enemies quite a fair bit. That is a fun one. Is that... Ooh. Ooh, what have I found here? Is this a get out of level free card? I think it is a get out of level free card. <laughs> cool. I, yeah, I've been, I've actually been enjoying doing the trucking. I really like uh, the new music that they're adding in, and I'm not saying that because Flylaw FM has King, Cor uh, King Crimson in the wake of Poseidon. For some reason, it's totally like makes no sense in terms of the genre that Flylaw is. I thought Flylaw was like trap music, not trap, but you know that kind of like lo-fi hip hop. And then it's like his King Crimson from 1970. And it's just a song, it's just Epitaph. It's it's a bit of a bizarre one for me, but I've been really enjoying that. I think that there's a lot of cool stuff off uh, Cult FM, which they only added in like six months ago. Good on them! I really appreciate you, Rockstar. Uh, e even if it's like, you know, for the ultimate purpose of it's it's selling a game littered in, in microtransaction currency and hackers all over who just modern currency anyways or just blow up everyone on the map because that's happened a few times to me and it's a little annoying when it happens but uh, <laughs> and I know some people are upset because uh, they'll they'll say oh because of this we are not getting a GTA 6 for the moment and uh, to some extent yeah it's actually been a long time hasn't it like 
You know, when you think about it, games, like, take so long to make now. And it's like, what do you do? GTA 4 came out at, like, right at the cusp of an era of, like, microtransaction stuff. And GTA 5, uh, I don't want to say pioneered, but, like, it really did cement, like, that kind of open, uh, like, you know, smaller scale, but it's still, like, you know, tightly integrated, uh, like, free roam multiplayer. Which I think a lot of games kind of lent into afterwards. We got a ladder. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. Is that a door? That's... Maybe. I don't know. Ooh, boy. Your duck. Okay, okay, we're good. Uh, but I guess that's an interesting thing to, like, consider, is that there's a lot of games coming out now. I've got him, he's in the ceiling. Uh, oh, let's go past this. Oh, I don't trust it. This one? Oh, really? So, uh, yeah, I, that's always a curious one of just like, you know, the perpetual game, because there's a lot of those nowadays, where it's a game that, you know, in, you know, intends to last for a long amount of time. And I think oh, so many devs have like seen GDA online and gone, yeah, we can do that. Sorry, not a lot of devs, a lot of big publishers uh, believe that they can do that. And it's a little, uh, you know, unfortunate when they think they can really do it, because, you know, it's the reason why everyone plays GTA Online, that's because GTA is such a solid game, like, it does, it does what it wants to do. I, did I just get told off or something? Oh my gosh. More doors. Uh... Key! Gonna come around? Uh, just gonna ask me to do that, okay. So I think we go down here, I know, right? stuff right there. So what is this? This is treasure number 10. That's why I've left. Okay. Uh, other than that, I haven't really been playing too many other games. I've been playing more Cook Serve Delicious 3. I am enjoying it. It's still a bit hard for me to play in long stints, because uh, it is a kind of repetitive game. I don't knock it for being that, but it's definitely one where... You know, you play it a bit and you go, yep, I am starting to get frustrated, but I do really appreciate that it properly incorporates uh, the best of everything that I felt. It's that, you know, you want to have all these different recipes, you want to have some incentive to use all of them, but you also want to give the player, like, the choice to, to do things, so I think the best thing that they've done... Oh, my nose is going out again. Uh, the best thing that they've done is made the levels themed around certain types of items. So you, uh, and like things, things I've seen like Cooks of Delicious 2 classics or something. So it's got all the, like only things from the second game or it's like, oh, like burger kind of stuff. So all the burgery kinds of meals you can do, uh, stuff like that. And they, they spice it up by forcing you to pick different combinations of things, different amounts for different shifts. They really do like, there's a lot of great ways that it's all spiced up. So great game the art's great the music is really top shelf i really like it so 
Yeah, no, it's definitely, it's a great game. I'd 100% uh, give it a recommendation. And uh, yeah, the other one uh, is that one. Yeah. The Monaco Grand Prix was on uh, yesterday, and that was really... Yeah, the, the race itself was not the most exciting in terms of, like, things that happened, but it's, like, more the things that, like, it, like, the best part about Monaco is that it's such a tense race, and that something can change. So the fact that nothing changed, you know, nothing really happened, uh, in some aspects, it doesn't mean that it was boring, like, reaching that conclusion. So, uh, oh my gosh. I'm getting my lives back, so that's neat. Eventually. <laughs> ah. Just, just wreck him, just annihilate him. Uh, do I get the dragon? Nah, I'm good. Checkpoint. Coins. Don't need them. Except I do need them. <laughs> Dragon? Nah, I'm good. Ooh, what's going on down here, actually? Uh... Yeah, I guess... I guess the thing is, uh... What games are there? Oh, we gotta get more, more treasure. And this is rather large, isn't it? I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I'm just like glancing at the chat going like, is it moving? No, yes. Maybe he's friendly. Who knows? I this is a very that's a very bizarre one to pick up, but sure. Ball. Key. There we go. Oh, we're hitting a sprite limit really hard. Chuck it in there. Get it in there. The legendary football! Is, is that a football? I think it's supposed to be a football. Uh, I guess. Well, I'll take it if it's a football. Oh. There's a fair number of coins on this level. You cannot deny the number of coins that are on this level. Stated fact. There's also a lot of lives. As of very recent, isn't there? Alright, I'm, I'm imagining the level ends in here, doesn't it? Ah, uh, I... Can't escape it. Although something's gonna drop in my head, so maybe it's useful. Oh, like a boss! Yeah, uh... Uh, oh, he's probably gonna throw something at me. Oh, like a like a bird. All right, all right, all right. Give me another one. Uh. Uh. Oh. There you go. Don't screw me over, bird. Give me a low one. Give me a low ball. Yeah, that one's... Ugh, that's... A, uh. Okay. We're good. Woo! I like how the coins are, like, slightly under the ground on the right there. Okay. So I could either have really no money or a fair bit of money after this. Oh, we're gonna have a, a bit of money. 
now I gotta hear my ears bleeding for a bit. Oh, shut up. Dang it. Dang it. Oh well. It's worth a try. So, anything controversial happening in the news recently? No? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That felt like a really quick world, wasn't it? The Parsley Woods. Kill a spike balls in some of these warrior levels. This is a very Mega Man y kind of. Ah! This is 100% a Mega Man like <laughs> structure. Show the mechanic. Oh! Bait the player sometimes. Ghosts, why not? At least if you kill the ghost. Oh. Oh, did you... Ooh. Ooh. No, stop, please. Uh... Not a fun spot, not a fun, fun position I was put in. Ah. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, I feel, I felt, uh, rather, um, I don't know, I, I, I have not been paying much attention to the news cycle or anything, uh, but. Yeah, I mean. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I actually, I'll, I'll, I'll take it back. I've really got like no comment because I've got nothing. Like I really don't know what's been going on. Uh, you just, li I'm listening to my music. I'm playing my games. I'm having a good time doing so. And uh, that's yeah, that's been me for for a bit. I don't know how to how to really describe it. I guess the problem is that like you know. There always is, like, you know, conflicts and stuff going on in the news and stuff, and to some extent, am I being willfully ignorant by not, you know, not learning about them and, and gaining an opinion on it? Who knows? Oh, okay, I'm good. I've made the same mistake twice. All I gotta do is get on top of this guy. There we go. That is- that's a mean angle. That's a very mean angle. I don't even trust beating this level without using the checkpoint, if this is a checkpoint. Yeah, I actually don't trust this. I'm legit checkpointing that. You did it, game. Man, it's just like... Oddly sudden spike in difficulty. Ah, they got it because of spiky balls. Die, ghost thing. Seems to keep going on a bit, doesn't it? And that's the end of the level. Huh.
because the worst part is that there is a treasure on this level. And I have completely missed both the door and the key. Ah. And! And I'm getting no money. Oh. Oh, I'm getting some money. Listen, I'll take the odd 130. I'll take the odd 130, because that's always good. Level 31, I've only now passed half of the money I need. Woo! So... Wait, hold on, which level is this? 31, right? Yeah. Uh, is this actually the course? Oh, uh, I'm an idiot. You revisit after the next level. Got it. I'm getting a bit of deja vu, aren't I? At least it's a bottomless pit and not a lava. So the death is later. And I've also got a jet, so I guess I can really cheese. Maybe not the whole level, but significant portions of it. Okay, I'm good. See ya. Got it. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Really yep. And boom. Oh, my ears. What the heck is happening over there? <laughs> what? What happened there? Who knows? All I know is that the water's draining. The mystical water has drained. I've got the funny number, so if I ruin this... Well, I'm not gonna have the funny number at the end of this anyway. Ooh. Okay, okay, big bucks, big bucks, big bucks, no whammy. Hey! Oh, okay, real talk, I love, I actually am kind of enjoying, like, you know, the roll the dice on this. Because when it works, when, when you get the luck on your side, it's such a great feeling. Wow, that's a, that's a lot more money than I was expecting. I have to play a lot of levels that don't do this. Wow. So this continues on, but yeah, I believe if I go back to level 31, I should now be able to get a treasure. And we got this. Rather cool warrior world music, warrior land music. Ooh. All right, well that's the key. Now what? Oh, you, really, really, get out of there! All right, let's get through it. Oh my gosh. Rip the jet. It's kind of interesting that this becomes a completely different level because you're not able to swim underneath at all. Wait, 
may have done a very gutsy throw on the, the key just then. And what a what a risky drop to the chompers that they expect. the key. Uh, yeah, okay. Cool power up. Yeah, I guess where's the key door at the end of this hole? Gosh, where's the where's the key door? Oh my gosh! And this guy's gonna terrorize me in the process. I guess you can freely go over all of this, so it's a bit more of my fault for going through it, but just annihilate everyone now. It actually hurts. Every time I do it, like a very silly mistake like that. Are there like shot collars for every time you die in a video game? It's a bit, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit, uh, not my, not my crowns, we'll say. You know what I mean. How about the, the classic, the classic negative reinforcement when you do the rubber band on your, your arm and you just like slap it into you when you do something you don't want to do. You, you just condition yourself. Is that actually healthy? I don't really think it is. What even is, like, the most effective way to, to tell yourself to not do a bad trend or a bad habit? Because, yeah, like, negative reinforcement, it's like, I mean, you gotta, you gotta do something negative. Or at the very least, you have to replace it with something very, very, like, you know, overwhelmingly positive and not contribute to the, the habit. It's a toughie, because, like, how, do you, how exactly do you do that? Maybe I should have gone in this door. Oh, wait, this is the halfway door. Gusto on the jump. Ooh! Ooh! Uh, well, okay. An actual spot for the ground pound! Wow! It did it! Uh... This smiley thing. Chuck it on there! I'm not really too sure what that's supposed to be, but sure. Eh, okay. Oh, maybe you could have just dropped down there anyways. Well, I shortcutted. I shortcutted in it. Probably would have taken a big guess given the end of the level there, though. But, eh. Time to lose my money! Lose that money. I'm not doing a great job at lose that money. I'm not doing a great job at this lose that money game. It's just, it's okay, sure. Well, 
Yeah, every 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 bit of more treasure is definitely killing the killing the need to grind, but it's probably gonna happen anyways to some extent. Look at that! They put in some unique music for the level where you have to go left. Genius. I think I remember this level actually. <laughs> It's strange, it's like we've gone through 32 levels of generally the same thing, and then suddenly here is a... a scrolling level. A, a scrolling level. I know, right? And not only just a scrolling level, but a scrolling level that goes left. On a train, and I have... <laughs> oh, I've activated that a bit prematurely, haven't I? Help! Okay. Well, the level designers, like, think of a, a good idea just out of nowhere, I don't know, right? They must have really wanted to do a train level. I'm feeling gutsy, no checkpoint for me. vibe of a level though. Train levels are great, okay? They're, they're criminally underused in games. They are such an easy effect because all you need to do is figure out how to make something scroll. So in this case, they got, uh, did they have the background scrolling? They had something scroll. I think it was the ground. The ground was scrolling faster than the tracks. And they even opened the level for you. Good on them. Oh my goodness, I am just going to continue getting rich. What is happening? What is happening? I'll take it, but what is happening? Okay. <laughs> I was expecting it at some point. Jeez, yeah. Oh. Alright, well, gradually getting to the end of the game here. We got level 34. And we're back to levels. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> trying to figure out like, what's the best way to not absolutely cop it here. Ah. I guess you can touch him, that's okay. Ah, oh, really? Double really. Oh my gosh. I apologize for that one. That was actually like horrendous. Whew. We got the bull by the horns. Gosh, Bondo can't go on, like a stream without his nose getting blocked. How does this keep happening to me? I don't even know. The worst part is I'm gonna sleep on it and then I'll be fine in the morning, but. Alright, we got the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seahorse thing. Yep. I still have no idea how to really deal with those, but sure. Power up. Uh, 
They give me a lot of hearts. They really want me to have lives now. Oh, it keeps going up. I think these chicken things, you're actually supposed to throw a coin in them. But... Yeah, maybe I'll test them out later. He just rocks up, why not? Okay. I might as well, I don't trust myself, actually. Ooh, but I do have this now. And I gotta swim past one of these. Uh, which way is the which way? Oh my gosh. Keep going up, bro. Well, that's both the end of the level and the key. I'll just go figure out where the key goes. Yeah, this key honey is kind of interesting. But that's not really an indicator which levels have the treasures. Like, you just have to kind of, like, you know, witness them. Uh, at least you can make the assumption that every level only has at most one key. But, that's a lot of keys. Well, at least it's up here. A boxing glove? That's not a boxing glove, that's a baseball bat. Whoops. We don't really do baseball in Australia. Like, we know of it, we do, um... Like, like it exists, but I don't, I don't really think we've got, like, major teams or anything. It's a very American sport, baseball. It's one I, I admire a bit, and honestly, I think it's, uh... Someone's gonna yell at me for this one. I think it's a little more interesting than, uh, cricket. Because baseball is kind of like, you know, you got one hit and that's what matters. Cricket's kind of like... You keep going until, like, something happens. And that could be in, like, two seconds. And, well, that could be in, like, two days. Like, legit. It just... It, it Cricket goes on for me. I cannot, for the life of me, understand cricket. Well, in, in terms of, like, how it's... Hugely enjoyable, and I say that I say that 100% after I just watched a bunch of bunch of vehicles drive around in a loop for 78 laps. I think the the issue I think I have with cricket is that the pacing. It's not that like yeah, it's not that it's a repetitive act of playing the same thing over and over again, but it's the fact that like it stops. And then it's the hit, and they go, and they try and catch it, and then that's it. And the state of the game never really changes. It's more just, you know, the the, the players start getting a bit tired, or they start, uh, maybe the... No, weather's not a thing, because the moment it, it drips at all, things cooled off, so weather's not really a factor. Uh, like... Yeah, I, it, there's not a lot of variables, I, I feel. It's kind of like, it is just the play. And to that, I would prefer, like, you know, this nice, like, uninterrupted kind of play. Whoa, a bit of a tight squeeze there. Uh, so yeah. Now, I, I also say that knowing that I haven't really watched people play baseball, like, professionally, uh, as a match. Like, I... I I know, I've seen of it, but I just have never sat down and watched a full match of baseball. How long do they go for? It's usually like three or four hours, right? Like it's, uh... Isn't it nine innings? Each side? Something like that? So like, it, it goes for a bit, but it's not like... You know, there's a set time. Test cricket is just like, uh... And then this is when someone goes, what about, like, 2020? And I'm like, 2020 is pretty decent. Because, like, a time limit legit is, like, exactly what every sport, like, needs. Not a, well, not a time limit, but a limit to how long the thing can go for. Cricket, like, test cricket just goes. It really goes. And I don't know. You know, it's hard. It's hard for me to kind of, like, stay engaged with that. At least, like, you know, you can say, okay, like, you know, 
you watch you watch your football, it's nine minutes. You watch your your, your golf, it's eighteen holes. Like they can't do more than that. So I feel like cricket's very exclusive in that regard as well, because I can't think of that many other sports that like don't impose some time limitation. Is that necessarily for a televised reason as well? I thought there'd be something about breaking these, but alas, nothing. This time the train's coming at me. And across I go. Oh, not landing him on my day. Well, that's that level. He looks up at the sky to find nothing but pain and torment. Oh. Oh. Easy Money. That's the name of the stream. Ah, see what I did there? And it's not because uh, I'm using a King Crimson song title as my stream name. Or, and, <laughs> and it's not that I'm using a song title in all of my stream names for the past while. <laughs> Did someone call for the boss level? Do I continue with the jet knowing that it's probably not going to be that useful in the fight? Considering you get the two hits anyways, like, and also considering I don't think any of these bosses besides maybe that one optional one, which I kind of want to go back for and just like really check out the the penguin in the, the optional world. Here we go, is this a checkpoint? Really, a checkpoint, is it? That's. Cool! Okay! Just, just casual three up. Is this a checkpoint? This feels more checkpointy. Yeah, it's right there. I feel like it's okay for the boss levels, considering you gotta. Considering you gotta one fight a boss and then two you get all the stuff at the end anyways. Oh, because you're supposed to hide in the holes. Yeah. I see what they intend. I am smelling what they're sniffing. Here he goes, cross the chompers. Someone jump on me, and I'm gonna really not like it. You know what? I'm glad none of those like door spam castle levels. Ooh, what am I looking at here? This is a. Uh... All right, he's, he's diving back and forth. He's dropping a ghost, and the ghost flies in that direction. Oh, and he stunned me. And he stunned me. Oh, that's interesting. That... That's a bit pain. That's a bit of a painful spot, isn't it? I was gonna say, like, I pressed down on his grave there and it threw me a, a coin. So, I'm thinking that's the strat. Now, unfortunately, I can't absolutely cheese this like I did before. Yeah, I don't know why I second guessed that. I And I ground pounded it. Oh, that's pain. Oh. They gave me another power up here, didn't they? Yeah. So at least it's that. 
no turbo, so I do have to go dash. Ugh. He's catching up. He's catching up. He's catching up. He's catching up. Ugh. Just, just let him do it. more with feeling. I made a great mistake being here. That was a pun. Uh, actually, when does he chuck these? Ah, am I dead? Nope, I picked it up. And I can't aim. Ah. I would like to learn how to hit this boss. Just gonna check through now. Yep. Ah! Ah! I think I'm just a poor aim. I think that's the only reason why I didn't do any damage then. And it's not because there's a secret strat somewhere, I think it is legitimately, I just, I cannot aim for Oh! This is a cruel corridor to give you the one power up that you can't like immediately ground pound. Sorry, the, to give you the power up that you ground pound and not you immediately like just duck. And then the double crawl for giving you the one that you can't dash with after. I feel like the, the bull is probably more useful though. Oh. I uh, double dip in the cloud. Hey, you get off my cloud. Ah. Yeah. Uh... Okay, okay, last one. Yep. I let him double dip on me. Oh! This is when it's gonna get tricky. This is when it's gonna get tricky. You know, it's level 36. There's 40 levels in the game. They gotta do it at some point. Someone's going, how do you get this far in the game? And he's now complaining about it. Like, oh my gosh. Like, really? Maybe. Maybe. It's weird as well, because, like, I found the Mario Lands to be rather a breeze. Not, like, too much a breeze. And final level Mario Land 2, uh, yeah, sure. But, at the very least... Although, granted, I, I guess I haven't been having too much trouble with this game. It's only been, like, very recently, like this bit. Mario is a tanky boy, so he doesn't get phased by these ground pounds and lightnings and whatever. Does this guy actually bugger off, or does he, like, just, just chill? I can't aim for the life of me. Wow. Wow. Oh. The, the stun is the worst part. It's not the fact that, like... Like, it's just it's just how I keep occasionally hitting something. And now this is my chuck story. And then like this, where it's like... Okay, okay, that's one. That's one. There's two. There's two. 
Okay. That's right. Wow. Yeah, this boss was easy. I don't know why on earth anyone has a problem with it. Like, really, he's an absolute joke. Seriously. <laughs> uh, I, that's that's my brain. This was my brain. It's in two sets. It's either it's way too hard or it's way too easy. That's that's all it is. Uh, you know, it'd be delish getting three of those money bags. Well, okay, getting two of those money bags. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> so, there are four levels left in the game and two treasures to be distributed between the two. And also, I need to have 10,000 coins by the time I do that last level. That is a very fancy last level, so... We'll see how this turns out, I guess. Oh my gosh, this, this is the hardest mechanic in the game and they're just going to keep going with it. The playtesters thought it was hard, we'll just keep going. It's interesting that it's the same level as well. Uh, there is a checkpoint. I'm feeling confident that I don't need a checkpoint on this one. The power-ups, we got the exact same power-ups as last time. Ooh. Okay, well, I wanted to go a little gutsy up there. Oh, that, I was gonna say, that turned around on me. Okay. Okay. That just seems like it's for power up. Uh, okay. So I got some rather precarious jumps here. I wonder what's in here. What is this? What is this? Who put this here? Who's gonna find that? Actually, like, awfully obscure. You just have to notice that the ground's still going. That's all it is. Uh, so this is a fun one. How do you get out? Do you just jump? Okay. We're all good. We're all good. Crisis aborted. I hey, ooh. Die. The end of the level, just give me a break. This looks like a job for more money. I said more money. More money. Uh, no money for Blender. So, I feel like I'm gonna have to jump to grinding mode rather soon, aren't I? Because this is level 38 coming up. Of course, 38. Of course. Oh, we got the strong blocks. And I got no means of ground pounding this for the moment. 
it gonna give me the bull, or is it just gonna flick the switch? Oh, that mean. Listen, I don't have the patience for that. I have the patience for this, apparently. It's a rather mean position for an enemy, isn't it? Is this sneeze time? I think it's sneeze time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. That's where the block nose is getting me. Oh. Really apologize for that. Dang. Why is it always, always during the stream, isn't it? Oh well. Power up, Liz. Hey, it's in the. Now I gotta figure out how to jump it. There we go, this will help. And then before, like, the rest of the level doesn't need it at all. This is probably the worst power-up to have during this part. Oh. I don't know if being smaller is exactly the benefit, but... Ooh, this... this may be good. Maybe. We got an exit. We got daylight. Checkpoint. I'll take it. I'm not gonna... sorry, I know I'm gonna have to be grinding some money anyway, so I'm not gonna... I I wish I would like two coins just so I could show that chicken thing off. But there isn't. Alright, I'm showing off the chicken thing. Alright, legit. Legit. That's not what the chicken thing does. Okay, who knows? I actually love how you can, like, re-pick up your coin as well. Keep it going! The ad's so quick, so I can't, I can't clear up that whole hallway. I'm keeping on to the jet, bro. Actually, no, you're right. I gotta be the bull. Getting rather precarious, isn't it? Should be pretty alright as long as you kind of like hold it right and then up. You can, you can not let go of right, but you can definitely do the rest. This. That's the thing. And all this results in is more movement of objects around me. So suddenly, ah, yeah, this effect starts to grate on your ears after a while, doesn't it? Jeez. Time for the money. Ah. Oh. No money in there. There's still no money in there. Wow. So, course 39. Well, more ball, 
I guess. No ball for me. Ah, oh, that's gonna be very disappointing if that was something worthwhile in there. Or there. Or there. Any hidden hidden goodies? Nah, nah. Well, at least I can walk under this. No problems. Hurts on the inside. Well, I guess now I'll figure out what's in these. A heart. Coin. Well. I don't know what's worse, finding out or not finding out. Heart money. Always good. <sighs> So, I am rather looking forward to, I guess it'll be, no, oh, it'll still be May, it'll be May 31st next week, so, the month is not out, whatever the theme of May is, I'm not too sure, but, uh, May is definitely, uh, I don't even know if May should be the coldest month, but it definitely has been, like, very cold here in Sydney, I don't know, like, we're getting some horrendously cold days. Uh Check what oh, yeah. <sighs> I got a power up plus Our way of doing that part, isn't it? Kind of a bit fine, but sure. Just gonna ignore every enemy, apparently. And that's the end of that level. Okay. Now, there was a treasure in that level. You probably would have noticed. And I had been a little bit of a dumpy. and lost my power up when I needed it. So, alas. But, since you don't have to finish the level in order to keep the treasure, I thought it would be better to just finish the level. <laughs> and maybe I will end with 200 coins. Eh... It was a maybe. <laughs> okay, yep, no money. No money. Don't need it. So that just leaves one actual level left in order to, to beat the game. But let's go back into this one. And let's uh, get that wonderful treasure. No, no, I'll kill myself. We'll see. <laughs> So I need to keep this ball because I need to be able to ground pound a thing. But since they gave a ball later on, I'm not too fussed about keeping it, like, for the moment. That being said, I wasn't getting anything out of any of this, so... Let's just jump all past it, knock a fall. Yeah. Nah, this game's got, like... The mood is actually kind of nice. I, I really like it. I'm actually surprised because I always... I always get the feeling of, like... A lot of NES and Game Boy games just don't have that, uh, I guess, like, modern longevity. And I know it's like, oh, like, you don't need a game to have, like, you know, achievements and, and always persistent multiplayer. But you know what I mean? Like, 
there's a lot of games where it's just like, they exist, like, to serve, like, one small gameplay, like, you know, kind of idea, and they don't really, like, push it that hard. I know there's games like Super Mario Bros. 3. It's a great game. I don't have the ball, I realize. And, of course, you can't exit the level, so what do you do? I gotta keep it. I gotta keep that ball. Oh, <laughs> Bill Lightning there. In the game. Uh, but yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Like, especially a game like Super Mario Land, the first one. Like, and this came out. This came out '94. Was this like this is a fair bit later? But like Super Mario Land came out. You know, like. Like, uh, Altered Beast was out by then. I, I don't, I can't think of, like, that many Genesis launch titles, but, uh... Yeah, like, uh, like, the Genesis was out, and I feel like there were games out there, like, uh, like Dragon Quest, for example. And it's, like, games that have, like, you know, more to it than just, like, the one regular gameplay loop. Uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, great example. 90-90. Super Mario Land, I mean, it's got the one extra mode, but other than that, it... Kind of exists in its one moment, and then that's it. Gosh, my nose is so blocked. Oh my gosh. Uh, how do you, how, how, how does this keep happening? I don't even know. Alright. Keep the power up. Keep the power up. Until. Until I get here. Then. There we go. Uh, to the right. There we go. It's just like stand up during that. Okay. This is a very precarious like angle to get in, but up there. Okay, so I need a key. I need a key. It's over there. Sorry, I need a key key door. Okay. Uh, I guess that's it. Sure. And here it is, the lucky last elusive treasure. As long as I don't game over. <laughs> Chuck it on the pile. <laughs> and now I just need a lot more money. Uh, I know that there's a debug cheat. I'm gonna attempt to do it legit. We'll just see how long it takes legit. It shouldn't take too long, really, but... Ooh. Uh, but... Yeah, no, I, I'm actually kind of surprised that there's, like, you know, a, a, a fair bit of content in this game. Even if, even if it is probably only gonna take, like, four hours total. Four hours is a fair amount of time. That's, that's like two solid sittings, or if you do one hour sittings, then that's four solid sittings. Depends how much you play, but four hours is something that you can very easily divide into something. Yeah, I could just kill myself. Uh, in the game. In Minecraft. Uh. <laughs> oh boy, that's a game of, you know, hoping up a rabbit's nest if I were to actually play. I also like this uh, kind of night time in the back. Success! I don't feel like rolling the dice considering that I've got 10 coins. So instead I'll show off this. Okay, we're not showing off. <laughs> oh my gosh, his nose. Oh, that's the worst feeling. Oh, it, it just hit me in like one ago. Alright, so. To grind the money. We have to go all the way back to the first world. So I guess you get to see the, the expedition, the journey that we've been through. Uh, 
but the secret is this bonus level, this uh, course six. That seems to be where all the money is. Like you just go in. Ah, oh, they. And you eat a guy and you just get money, and then you try and double it. Oh. Yeah, that's one thing, having a score. Oh my god, but this nose. Oh, it's the worst feeling. Jeez. Um, nah, it's it's not too bad having. Um, sorry, I I'm not a big fan of the uh, the need to get all this money. It's oh jeez. Oh, it's actually like horrendous right now. Like it's so close. Oh, it's just. Oh. <laughs> I really want to end the game as well. That's the worst part. But it's totally hitting me hard right now. Jeez. Congrats. Oh gosh. And the worst part is that I'm gonna keep doubling my money. And I'll sometimes get 29. But I'm gonna keep going. We got a lot of $3,600. Let's do this. Like it's a quick level. You could do it in like a minute. So. Say. That's actually going to take like 20 minutes on average, isn't it? Maybe if I get really lucky. We'll see. Oh, really? You got that guy up? It does that. How generous they are they with the lives. I'm pretty sure the final boss isn't that hard. I don't remember it being that hard. Considering everything is taking three hits, it doesn't seem too bad. Oh my gosh, this nose. Oh. Come on, game. Don't do this to me. Let me get my coins in peace. Very, very disconcerting. <sighs> it's interesting that they've got this, like... You know, like nothing, well not nothing of a level, but you know what I mean, like a, a strictly like bonus level. Why do I keep hitting all these like, bits of the hearts in the like, out of nowhere now? And, I'm terrible at getting these guys. Jeez. This will be the one where I just get like... Actually, you know what? Let's just, 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 commit. Actually, I don't know. Is it, is it worth just committing and getting the, getting the coins? No, I feel like we should do the double. Or, no, no, I'm gonna commit, I'm gonna commit. I'm not gonna use the debug, I'm gonna legitimately show how much grinding this is gonna take. I keep dashing too early. And also ground pounding. There we go. Sorry, too late, as in, because if, if I'm standing in them, it doesn't let me dash. Oh my gosh. Now, if only the, yeah, if only the coins were coming a bit quicker. Or, if they didn't require 10,000. And, uh, as an extra mean thing, it's 10,000 given that you have gotten all the treasure. It's really 99,999. But, because, oh my gosh, because you've got all the treasure, you get 90,000 of that given. You'll, you'll see it kicking it at the end, it's fine. 34, 79 to go. 
Like, stole a third left, at least. And the worst part is that, I know, if I get lucky with the... Uh, with a, um... Uh... The, the buckets... I'll still only... You know, I... Make 999 if... If that, I don't think I actually would make 999 in one go. I can end the level at least with a bit, but... You know, I still gotta wing, wing those buckets, so... Uh. Although, again, again, as I said last week, it seems on average that you're more likely to double. Considering that, you know, you get all three, you get eight times what you put in. You get all, all three of the other one, you get an eighth of what you, you put in. But the odds seem to say that you'll get like 1.875 times. At least if you're picking three. If you pick two, I guess, what would the odds be? You'd have a 50 chance of not changing, half chance of, oh sorry, quarter chance of halving, and then quarter chance of doubling. Which again, that seems on average like it's above, but not as good as picking three. Well, okay, now I've officially passed the two-thirds mark, but yeah, I gotta keep going. silently dash that one. Uh, another silent dash. Is there actually a pattern to this? Like, is there some deterministic 8-bit number in the back? Who knows? Do I do the debug? It's, it's so tempting. I feel like I should do the debug. Just get it over and done with. This is rather silly that, you know, like, it, it ends up this way. I don't know. And, I... After playing this a bit more, it's like, man, this actually does take forever to get to get money. Because, like, yeah, it's a safe level where you can get 90 or 80, yeah, 80 coins. And then attempt to push that 80 up to 640. Or 10. Or 160 or 40. Alright, so, what is the debug? Well, there's a debug thingy where if you pause the game and then hit select, 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 You'll notice there's a cursor on the screen. You can then, uh, hit the button. Uh, which one was the button? B. There you go. Hold down B, move it over the thing. And then, uh, be up, and you just go boom, boom. You can also change warrior's power up in this. And then, uh, if you hit, uh, select, 
You can now just have 999 coins. You can't bump it up to impossible levels. Which is interesting. Like, you can't bump it up to a level that you can't, like, you know, achieve. You, like, you, can't, you can't do this, uh, you know, 65,536 or something. And because of that, there's no reason to do the game. But, I know, it's cheating, but legit, that's a time sink. That is actually something that is just gonna, like, take me an extra hour. And that is not fun. I'm sorry, Warrior Land, you lose one point in my books. And I'm sorry to the people who were like, ah, oh, you're cheating it in. Honestly, if you played this game, you'd probably feel the same. <laughs> At the very least, I do not want to touch Warriors' power up or lives. I feel like it's just the coins that I really want to, you know, kick into. And the worst part is, I gotta, I gotta do that three times. I know I'm technically using ten coins at the end of level, but eh. Oh, here I come for another sneeze. No, I won't. Dang it. Oh, it's the feeling. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I, 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 no, 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 no. I'm down with the sickness. I really, really hate this call. I'm gonna take like a swig of Panadol. Jeez. It's actually gonna be really bad. God dang. And I gotta hear my ears bleed over this. Man. Wasn't I saying that, like, I love this game? I really, I'm really enjoying it. It's got a lot of, you know, a lot of fun mechanics. Bear with me. It's not a perfect game. I think there's still some quirks, like this definitely... It, it, it's limited by the fact it's on the Game Boy. That's always a toughie. Like, what do you do with a game that's, like... You know, the handheld. And the color wasn't out until, like, 98, wasn't it? Oh my gosh. Uh, so, you know, it's... It's what the... The platform really could only allow, and they've done a, a good job for it, so I'll say that, but... Yeah, geez, it's definitely a game that exists at its time. So... Exists at its time? Yeah, I don't know, it, it holds up decently. It holds up decently. I'd say it holds up a bit more than the other games. The resolution is still something to... to get over. Like... It is very, very zoomed in. And it serves the warrior purpose alright, but it is rather cramped. So. Alright, one more go after this, and then uh, I'm gonna try and refight that penguin. But if there's one thing I guess that's neat about this game is that Wario was this kind of weird looking thing at the end of Super Mario Land 2 and suddenly here is a game that's about him. It's a bit of an antithetical game because it still has the whole, you know, he's collecting treasure and stuff, but, uh, you know, I'm going for the money, but it's actually kind of interesting that, you know, it turns things on its head a bit and, uh, when we get to Wario Land 2 at some point in the, in the future, not next of course, but, yeah. Not quite next, but uh, I, I'll, I'll eventually play it because I really would like to play uh, Warrior Land 2 and 3 again, and then maybe I don't know, we'll, we'll give 4 another chance. Maybe I won't be too frustrated by then. Uh, legit, I remember like feeling so pained by having to go for Warrior Land uh, on the Wii. Uh, all its bonus parts. I don't know, that, that one felt very tiring at the when I was doing it. There's a couple of games that I, I felt that about its bonus content. Um, and it's interesting, because, like, doing it on stream, it feels so, so much more relaxed. Like, you're just, you're just doing it. 
But when you're doing it for a Let's Play, it's like, oh, like, and then I gotta know I gotta sift through the footage, and then I gotta know that I'm you know, having to provide some commentary over it, like, at all times. It's a bit tiring, where it's at least, at least when it's on stream, you know, there could be a chat, there could be something going on. You could just be like, okay, this is my two hours, and that's it. Um, that does, me doing two hours a week does prevent, like, doing some incredibly long games. Uh, I would love to play a Dragon Quest, but, you know, which one do you play? Five, I think that's the only one. Why am I going into a level? Five is the only one I think you can legitimately play in, like, this, you know, two hours a week form factor. And even then, I'll probably take it a good part of the early half the year. Maybe not quite a half the year, but quite a fair bit. Uh, so which one was the boss? The boss was to the left, yeah. Course 19. Okay, let's give this boss an actual run for its money as well before I fight. Uh, the final level. Boom. Yeah, no, I, I've actually enjoyed this game a fair bit more than, than I, I feel like I would have. And maybe more than I did at the time. Like, I think without really going into too much detail on its mechanics at its time, I kind of missed the whole point of the game. Perhaps. Like, if you just play it like it's a regular, you know, just platform game, it's alright. But yeah, really getting into that whole, like, treasure hunting kind of, you know, aspect. Oh, this is the part, because you got to get through here without taking a hit. Ugh. And I remember going, like, too far left and getting screwed going down that, that end, yeah. Like, what, what is happening here? Like, what, what is legitimately going on? And that's, uh, that's a checkpoint. I might as well commit to the checkpoint. It's not like I need money, do I? I'm gonna stick with this, bro. Uh, perhaps at some point I will play... I've got a few other games I've still got on my list. Uh, one of them actually is Earthbound, but Earthbound did not take me that considerably long on the Let's Play front, so I feel like that actually won't take me a horrendous number of streams. Uh, in the same way that Golden Sun didn't take, like, that long. Like, ten streams is a fair bit, that's two and a half months of streams, but... Oh, really? Because now I'm going to walk into this and it's going to be the boss and I'm going to have no power up. That is just pain. That is actually pain that you got to go through that whole bit without taking a hit. <sighs> I mean, at least I hit the checkpoint, so... But still, still... And especially this this power up. There we go. So, uh, what I really hope, though, is that at the very least, this game does inspire you to some extent to save your money for something. There'll be something out there worth your time. It's a fun game. I, I guess I guess it should inspire you to, to maybe go out and play it. I believe it's on the 3DS uh, Virtual Console. So do I just jump on it? Hey! That was a bit of a fun one, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I believe it's on the Virtual Console. I'm a bit sad that because uh, I. I don't know if they did any Game Boy Color, so I don't know if there's, uh... Oh, I guess they would've, because they did Crystal, didn't they? Yeah, they did Crystal, so they would've had to do Game Boy Color. It's a... Crystal's a weird game, the fact that, like, it does need to be played on the Game Boy Color, because you can technically boot it up on a regular Game Boy, and it gives you a prompt saying, Yeah, not this time. Like, I know Gold and Silver works, but not Crystal. I'm curious what even, like, are the, the restrictions? 
Maybe just actual lag, considering the, you know, the lesser performance of the, the chip on the, the regular Game Boy. Who knows? Alright, 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 alright. Is he gonna turn around? Yeah. Oh, okay. I see how it goes. Alright, two steps. Well, that's the pink. Oh! I'll take the lives. Well, there you go, that's the penguin boss. <laughs> Can't rest my lives on anything, apparently. Alright, so, now, to the actual main event. An actual final level, as well. How bad can a final level be? Like, really? I mean, yeah, sure, Super Mario Land 2's final level was incredibly tough, but, uh, like, really, really, how tough could it be? <laughs> uh, I've got the power-up that lets me just, like, fly. Why would I jeopardize that? They really want me to have the bull, don't they? Fair number of coins at this level as well. It's a bit precarious, isn't it? Uh, is this for a checkpoint? It is for a checkpoint, but I absolutely hate these, like, these things. Where are they from? Like, Super Mario Brothers 2? Like, that kind of stuff? Expects a bit of platform and trickery here. Oh gosh, they're actually mm, they're asking for it. Fine, I'll take your bull because I'm gonna lose it anyways. I'm taking your bull. Took it again. I can't, I can't do anything else. Unless they give me a power-up if I leave the room. No. No. Well, maybe I could have done something considering I just walked into it, but... Yeah. Alright, take two. This time, no jet, so... I'm gonna have to do it old style. It's stuff like this, so it's like, yeah, the Game Boy's got a kind of small screen, considering you go off-screen, and you picked up coins off-screen. <laughs> you heard that? Alright, save the power-ups this time. Alright, let's get this Dark Knight over here. Here he comes. I'm gonna charge into him from the back. He's gonna then react and do something there. He's just gonna charge. Okay. He's gonna charge again. There he goes. There he goes. Three hits. Roll of threes every time. Okay, time to climb Danger Hallway. Ah. Ugh. Ah, oh, double. Ah. Oh. That second one was actually uh, on purpose. Cough, cough. Uh, no. <laughs> legit, legit. It's just like you you grab the wall from like your belly, not your not your hands, and that. That threw me off a bit. Like that's why, like I'm still climbing here. It's the bottom sprite. The bottom sprite is key. But it's kind of excuses. So how about let's just try and continue. Try and take it. Oh, 
Considering that's the halfway point, unless they were nice enough to put multiple checkpoints in the level, but... Considering that's the halfway point, I don't think it's gonna be too bad to... Get this guy, here we go, here we go, here we go. The music's a bit of a vibe in this game, I'll tell you that. Still, you know, <laughs> as limiting as the Game Boy can do, considering it's the NES, and I'm missing a voice. But... Does pretty alright. Alright, grab from the feet. Yep. Thank you, hallway. Oh, the worst enemy. Come on. It's just so, like, cool. Just he occupies so much space, you know? Hey, here we go. Slap. You ever whacked a genie lantern and the genie comes out? Alright, so what do you do here? Oh yeah, you, you... Oh. Oh, gosh! Yeah, you... okay. So the trick, that was very off-screen. What's that? You... you... Gotta dodge his attacks. Roll the genie lamp. Ah. Gotta roll the genie lamp until it lets you land on it like that, and then you can jump on the genie's head. Except I... Oh, I was hoping I could two-cycle him like that. Come on, Genie. Come on. And I totally put the platform off screen there. Nice. Some very aggressive music for Genie. Ah! Tried doing a bit of an aggressive jump there. Here I go! Yeah, I guess you gotta do more than more than three hits, huh? Three hits is a little too too little. Considering he's got one attack. Here he comes. Ugh. How about five? Five's too many. Well, five's not enough, rather. Little tiny warrior takes up less. Oh, I've done it again. I've rolled the, the thing, and it's off screen. There we go. Uh, uh. Three hundred dollars there. Way, 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 way. JC, a bomb. And Wario has jumped out, to which you have now discovered a wonderful idol of Peach. Wow, what a great treasure! I find this is a hilarious turn of everything, how you spent the whole last game, you know, trying to steal back something in Super Mario Land 2, and then suddenly the roles are reversed here, and Mario gets away with it. I know, right? What a disappointing way to go out. But, at the very least, you've ended up with this magical genie. Which you think that's kind of like, man, like, just, just keep the genie. 
Rule number one of Genie. Infinite money. Rule number two of Genie. Uh... What is this? Omnipotence. Rule number three of Genie. Lock up the Genie. <laughs> Put the Genie in space. Don't let anyone else have it. Except this is a very greedy genie, because he kind of wants money for, for making the castle. So, I think he's just a laborer at that point. So, what happens is that, yes, you go to this end treasure screen, you take all that money that you got from the end level, add it to your total. I, I think double check how much money I had in my, like, Yeldi Let's Play, but it probably wasn't that much, considering I remember I didn't go for the treasures. And each of these will add several thousand uh, gold to your, your total. Uh, but basically, if you got all 15, you're getting a flat 90,000. So that's all good. And you gotta sit through this whole thing as well. So, <laughs> that's great. But would you look at that. My nose is not as blocked as it was like 10 minutes ago. I know, right? So, but no, I've, I've actually enjoyed playing the through this game again. I, I'm kind of glad that I've tried playing, I guess this is technically all the, the Mario Lands, uh, in some, uh, some capacity without resulting in cheating. Well, I did use the debug code on this one, but <laughs> without, without like just some obnoxious, you know, like game, game shot code placed on top and I'm also abusing save states and rewinds, it's like, you know, it's nice just playing it like in some legitimate form. Uh, so, it was good to do it in that way. And honestly, this one is not that hard. Like, I died quite a fair bit on one of those levels, but even then, like, I was not at any risk of game overing. And then, if I did game over, it's just like, you could do either the classic thing of just turn off your game. Like, you could just do that. Or, you know, work your way to getting a, the one treasure you lost, or some money back. It'd be a bit painful if you were trying to get this 99,999 without the, the treasures, although you do skip the, the best ending anyways. Also, geez, this takes its time. Wow. I remember, as a kid, having a Game Boy Advance, actually, and the battery, flat out, like, you know, the, my double A's were really pushing it. I couldn't save, I couldn't do anything, I'm stuck in something, and it just gave up. It was just like, there's too much. Too much work I was trying to do there, so. Well, at some point you do hit that end money, so. I got it in the end. And with that, suddenly all my money is now depleted from my bank account. Ooh, is this going to go into space and hurt my ears? Yeah, it kind of is. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. We got money back number two. So, uh... So I believe the, uh, the end credit amounts... Uh... Well, sorry, the, the... There's various endings. I'm pretty sure Retro Achievements actually has a different ending for... Um... Or a di different achievement for each ending amount of money. There's... One of them where you legitimately have to have less than 300 coins by the end of the game. And that's actually, like, a huge challenge to get. Because you got to go out of your way to just, like, chuck all your coins at the end of the level. So with that... With that, I got all these bags of money. I'm going to show this to the genie, and the genie's just like... Yeah, let me just take him see you. And you get this instead. Have a look at your wonderful prize that you got for actually completing the game. So, so Wario ascends to the heavens and notices that he has 100% got the moon under his control. I hope that this is the canonical ending. That just just Wario's face on the moon. And that's the game. Uh, so yeah, you can you can get various like uh, 
you know, houses, uh, you know, you eventually get a cabin, and then a pagoda, and then a castle. Like, you get gradually larger estates. Having the most of everything gets you in the mood, and that's always good. So, I hope that you guys definitely enjoyed watching this, and watching me suffer through my nose getting blocked and sneezing, and, and having a fun time during, during the stream. Uh, but, yeah, no, I'm kind of glad that I could get this done in, in two streams. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I still kind of, yeah, wish that I played these games legitimately way back when, like 12 years back. Oh, it's actually tending on 13 now, jeez. Oh, it was actually like July 2008 I played most of these games. Oh, gosh. So, uh, but yeah, no, I, I, I'd say, yeah, give this one a go, maybe. It's a maybe. actually hasn't aged too bad. Think about it, it's almost been as long from the game's release to when I played it poorly on an emulator to when that poorly emulated <laughs> playthrough is to now. It's off by about like a year. I know, it's crazy. Yeah, my only thing is that, yeah, this is a bit of an easier game. It's not, like... I mean, I guess, I guess the other two weren't, like, too bad as well, but in particular, like, this one actually, it didn't really push me, like, too hard. It's just some awkward platforming at times and barrels, so. Mary Kakoma. Where are some of these people now? Some, like, just various people you'll see in a credit sequence and then they never, they never appear again. Who knows? Uh, also, I guess, just as a side note, I have never played the, the Virtual Boy one. If I find a great way of being able to play it, I might give it a go. We'll see. But I guess also, it's the Virtual Boy one. It might be a bit of a trickier one to, uh, you know, to, to figure out how to play. But I apparently hear that the... The Virtual Boy one is exactly like what you would expect from a sequel of this game. It's just that they never... They never did it! Sorry, they, like it came out of the Virtual Boy. Who played it? No one. And then they made a sequel that was actually just Wario Land 2. And so most people may not even think that there was a Wario Land 2. Sorry, a, a Wario Land 1 and a half in there. But it wasn't there. So, maybe I'll play it, who knows. Uh, oh yeah, from, from Lost in Warrior Land 2 and 3 were on the Virtual Console, and I guess 4 was in some, uh, twisted sense, because it was on the 3DS Ambassador program, but does that really count? I think most people won't really count it nowadays. It's on the Wii U, how about that? What's the Wii one? Oh, the Wii one's also on the Wii U! Oh, that's interesting that you can actually play every single game from this on the 3DS and the Wii U. Two consoles that Nintendo doesn't actively develop for anymore. Uh, <laughs> that's what I hate about like Nintendo's like Switch service. It's just, it's just looping, or is this actually like showing new names? <laughs> legit, but yeah, like legit, yeah. Nintendo's got a problem where they've got their their systems, so they're putting on, uh, they're putting on. Uh, all the sorry that they're, they're putting on all these games every every time, you know, every, every every like month or so, and it's like man, they still do not have the same catalog that they had last time. You know, on, on all the other systems. So and and yeah, that was a the problem they had with the the Wii U was that um yeah they they started introducing games that were just already on the Wii and they charged people for them and then they did a promotional thing where you paid thirty cents for them. Perfect game. Hey. Or I was trying to figure out how to get down from you. Who knows? So I think the game may just sit here until you turn it off. <laughs> sure. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that very much. Uh, and with that, I call it a, a day. So thank you all for very much for watching. Please enjoy, or, you know, if you, if you enjoyed it, please give a follow on uh, Twitch and a subscribe on YouTube to watch this again if you really wanted to. I'll be doing this 
maybe not worry my head, but I'll be doing a new game next week. I'll be trying to make sure that my nose isn't ready every time. Uh, but yeah, what game will I play next week? I don't know. Off the top of my head, but it'll be fun. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, thank you, Gords. Uh, other than that, stay safe, stay well, don't get into Twitter drama, don't get into YouTube drama. Uh, watch it with popcorn, because sometimes it's good fun. Who knows? Uh, but otherwise, yeah, take care, and uh, turn your clocks back an hour if it's that time of year. I, <laughs> I got no clue. Alright, have a good one, everyone.